Well, welcome to tennis.com.au's Wimbledon preview. As far as the women's side of the draw, it's going to be a fantastic fortnight at the All England Club. And the Williams sisters have really owned this tournament for a long time. We know Serena won last year. Venus has won five Wimbledon titles. Craig Morris, as I welcome you. It's always hard to go past Serena when it comes to Grand Slams full stop. But certainly this year, there's an indication that perhaps the women's side is more open. We've got Kleisters back. We've got Justine Enner, of course, who's back on the tour for really one reason, and that is to win the most prestigious Grand Slam of all. It does um, loom as a fantastic fortnight. Yeah, you're right, Brett. I think uh, the women's and on the back of the French Open with two new players, our own Sammy Stozer and Schiavone making the final, there's a whole other interest in the women's game at the moment. And... Uh, I think uh, it's going to be one of those events where a lot of attention will be laid to the women's draw and, and, and actually who comes out um, at the back end. But you're right, the Williamses are always hard to go past at Wimbledon. We need to focus on our very own Samantha Stozer, though. She was so close in uh, Paris. I mean, a fantastic couple of years to make a semi-final and a final. We're hoping the Omen is there in mm. 2011 to actually win the French. It's interesting, Craig, to just read her mindset. What are you hoping for from Sam in the next couple of yeah, weeks? Yeah, look, Sam's obviously hasn't got past the third round of, of Wimbledon before, so her expectation may not be as high as what it was at the French. But I also do believe on the back of her results uh, over the past two weeks at Roland Garros is that she has an expectation now that uh, she needs to get herself into the second week. And once she gets into that situation, you know, you roll a die. So, um, you know, I think reading between the lines and some of Sam's comments in the press... Uh, the French Open, uh, now that she's in the Eastbourne, is, she's been able to put that behind her. Prior to that, you know, she's certainly been able to, I suppose, find it difficult to, to get off the fact that she was in a French Open and Grand Slam final and not being able to get over the line. So I think uh, she'll be glad to get on the grass, back into competing, and uh, she'll be looking forward to uh, trying to get her teeth into Wimbledon for probably the first time. Casey Delacqua, tell us about her situation. It's good to see her back. It's been a a tough campaign, obviously did very well here at the wildcard playoff back six months yeah. ago and yeah. since then injuries and, and getting into tournaments has been tougher but we know she's a fantastic hitter of the tennis ball. Yes. Tell us where she's at. Yeah, look, Casey's obviously just coming back on the circuit. She's been struggling with injury for the past six months and uh, and for us in Australian tennis, it's great to see her out on the tour. Um, unfortunately, she didn't quite come up for Eastbourne this week, so she's struggling with Alicia Mollick and Nicole Pratt and, and she's trying to get ready now for Wimbledon. She does believe her game equates well on the grass, which it does. You alluded to she's a great ball striker. She's got the lefty serve. Um, she's grown up on the grass from WA, so... Um, she's using a special ranking. She's currently uh, just outside 200, but she's got a special ranking of 82. So she's going to use that, roll the dice a little bit, see how she pulls up post Wimbledon, and that'll determine the second half of the year. But you know, if the draw's there right for Case, you know she certainly can do anything in the first one or two rounds. Did I mention I'm going over there? Yeah, you did, uh, which I'm a little envious, but uh, I'll be watching closely and having some late nights like we did. But uh, my tip, by yes, the way, all for the important women, tip, Craig Morris. I can look down the, uh, I was <laughs> going to say down the corridor, but at the thing and say, my tip is Samantha Stozer from Australia to win Wimbledon. That is a fair call. If I could be there and smear the stars at Windsor, I mightn't come home. Uh, it's going to be a massive two weeks on the women's side of the draw. Let's hope Sammy can uh, certainly emulate what she did at the French and maybe even go one better.